Welcome back to our first interview here on Tahoe. Tonight, I'm your host, Mike Parrott, here with good friend in the studio, JT Chevalier from oh, Homewood Mountain Resort, one of the best kept secrets in the entire Tahoe Basin. But we're going to put it out there for you guys to learn about it right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. I think this year, you know, the secret's out, and, and thanks for having me. Always a pleasure being here. But yeah, this winter, it's it's just been an amazing resort to be at. Um, you know, first and most importantly, we're open top to bottom. So, mm -hmm. you know, we call it peak to shore because if you've ever skied <laughs> yeah. Homewood before, I mean, it takes you up to the top of, you know, Old Homewood Express or Ellis Chair. You have these amazing views and then you ski literally right down almost to the shoreline. Like if Highway 89 wasn't there, I would suggest people just <laughs> keep going and you could probably just do a little water ski skim. That'd be quite the pond skim. Right it, it would be quite the <laughs> pond skim. But, um, yeah, it, it's just one of those resorts where it's still got that kind of old school, scary Americana vibe, mm -hmm. you know, great for families, really affordable. And then you just look at the fact that you're just not standing in lines. Right. Like you are at a right. lot of other resorts. So we always say, you know, the, the amount of time that you might actually spend extra in the car getting to us, mm -hmm. you're going to spend that time on the slope skiing and not standing in line like a lot of the other resorts. Right, right. That's a good point to make. So make sure you check Caltrans. They've been doing a great job with the large amount of snow that we have opening Highway 89 whenever possible. So that's great for us here in South Lake Tahoe. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's just it's been a record setting year. And with that, you know, every ski resort's had their challenges, mm -hmm. but, but the real challenge has been for the folks at Caltrans, just keeping the roads yeah. open, them safe. Um, so we tip our hats to them and, and all the hard work they've been doing. And we always suggest, that, you know, if people are looking to come to the resort to, to really check Caltrans and DOT and make sure you know before you go what those road conditions are going to be because, you know, a lot of times Highway 89, that's, that's changing real time. Highway 50 is changing real time. Highway 80 is changing real time. So always check them. And uh, if you guys have any questions, you can call our guest service and, and we can give you those yeah. real-time updates as well. I had a chance to get up there with Lisa to shoot the Tahoe Outdoor Show. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get on the, the cat skiing tour uh, because it was snowing so good that day. So talk about that a little bit and the experience you guys provide. Yeah, the cat skiing's great, you know, and it's been one of those unique offerings that only Homewood has in the basin. Mm -hmm. And if folks are interested, um, we always suggest you go to skihomewood.com and that way you can uh, go ahead and call the folks that book the cats yep. and you can either do a full cat buyout so take the whole cat for you and your friends or you can hop on a tour that's already dialed in but you know for folks in the bay area or sacramento or other locations that might not be able to really access these storms and the pow cycle that we get mm -hmm. living here it's really easy to say hey you know, I can see the storm's gonna deliver, you know, come Monday or Tuesday next week, I'm gonna book a full buyout. My friends are gonna have that all that powder to ourselves, no lift lines and great view. And if they're not into the casking, the backcountry, they don't have the gear, something like that. What's some of, well, maybe one of your favorite runs from the lift access? Give them, so, give them a little nugget of uh, locals knowledge. So, so lift access, I'm just gonna say off Ellis chair, you know, mm -hmm. it's the great part about that chair is it accesses a nice little horseshoe of terrain and you know been heli skiing before been cat skiing before i will say that the amount of fresh snow that you get at homewood it is mm -hmm. the equivalent of something yeah. you would get at some cat skiing adventure or some heli skiing adventure so and it's there for days it's there for days the like wherever you want to go <laughs> yeah. like you know for the last three days this has been you know a, a busy weekend for us moving into mm -hmm. a great week and we're still getting fresh lines there going yeah. up at two three o'clock in the afternoon and when you go up and you see them fresh at three you know it's going to be just yep. as good tomorrow. We've got about 30 seconds left. The 11th and the 12th are some special event days for yep. you guys. Pass holder party on the 11th featuring the great music by Ike and Martin. And mm -hmm. then on the 12th, we got First Tracks Breakfast. So we suggest everybody party hard at the pass holder party, 8 o'clock, go to bed early, and get up 7 a.m. so you can access that breakfast All and fresh right. lines. Thank you very much. JT Savale from me. Homewood Mountain Resort. That's a wrap here on this interview segment for Tahoe tonight. We appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you follow our stream at LakeTahoeTelevision.net.